Shout out to my boy, Spirit Springer, not Jerry Springer. Spirit Springer, man, yo, man, big souls, nigga, young Draco, nigga, it's up here, G Hood Frank, nigga. Wow. Gang, gang. Spirit Springer, we talked to a gang. Appreciate you, boy. Spirit Springer, bitch. Gang shit. Gang shit, y'all know the fuck going on for my ass, bitch. Like nobody's gonna go undefeated in this shit. Like, and I feel like that's what makes it so fun. Like, mm -hmm. it makes it so fun to really like bet on yourself and see if they really blow up. You know? You got B Big KBs, you got Cash Page, you got Baby Young, all these artists that like, you know, what I'm saying people see the success. Shout out Cash Page, I really fuck with her. Yeah. Cause. I'm just grateful to even have spoke to her before she blew up, cause she showed a nigga love. Yeah. And I never even worked with her none, but I know she's a real nigga and she humble as fuck. Yeah. Bro, all that shit, but nothing to me seems to ever have that same feeling. Like it's all dope. Yeah. But that shit what y'all did with Splurge, it was it was just like it felt so genuine and like yeah. surreal just happening. Like just every day was a new day. Y'all niggas dropping new videos. Yeah. Niggas out in Florida, like, and when we seeing you niggas do this shit, mm -hmm. niggas is feeling like, damn, this, this, this some like groundbreaking shit that's yeah, happening. It could have, it could have been the next like QC, cause it's, I was going, my my plan with it, I was going blow up splurge, grab two tone, which I did, yeah, grab another one, grab another one, grab, but then people get, people just start acting weird. People don't know how to wait their turn. Mm -hmm. People just acting all, it just got out of hand, like parents stepping in and just like, I mean, it just it just got out of control and I just fell back as usual. But um, I felt like that one was big was because it's from Arlington and that's where I came up. You know what I'm saying? All, like, all at the... Yeah, it's just from, it was just that it was from Arlington and people could see from the beginning. Like nowadays you might not catch me getting that person from the beginning, but you could see me take him to New York, mm -hmm. him drop Beat by Jeff the video on World Star, yeah. him drop Intro Part One, then he dropped Free Granny. Then you could just see it. Like people saw a lot I feel like a lot of people from here saw it from day one mm -hmm. to when it was over. You know what I'm saying? But it's nothing different from anybody else. And this Spurge was super witty with his rhymes. Like yeah. super talented. It was a new sound. Yeah. Beat by Jeff. Like the no melody shit was fresh. Um, now it's a lot of people are doing it, but it was just fresh. It was refreshing. So, so as much as as you're a part of a person, an artist like his story, and it's gonna bring me to my big question. I ask a lot of artists, um, Get Money, Lil Ronnie, Splurge, Spud, Boom, Yayo, all these niggas. I've asked them, how much did Say Cheese help you, or do you feel like y'all helped Say Cheese? Yeah. And a lot of niggas say like, shit, we we all helped each other. Yeah. But you do you feel like damn that. Having splurge and artists, uh, ha having him, may really like help me get to where I'm at on like the shit that you're on now. Uh, not. I mean, to be honest, splurge. When I first signed splurge, I didn't give him no money. Like I didn't give him no advance money because it was a test run. It was like, all right, like this was my like. I'm not gonna say my first artist I, I like helped, but that was my first time doing paperwork with somebody. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm not gonna give him an advance. Um, I'm going to see what it do first. I'm going I'm to give it like a 90-day trial. Yeah. And then, I mean, one thing led to the next. But, I mean, I was already, I already had hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, he didn't make me to where, he didn't make me who I was. But he did help me um, splurge, dealing with splurge did help me um, with the blueprint of how I'm going to really work with an artist. Yeah. Um, nowadays, I don't really like to really sign artists to like a three-year deal. I want it to be tape by tape. Mm -hmm. So I want to sign, start signing to people for like two tapes or a mixtape deal or a pub, uh, you know, distribution deal or like maybe three tapes. Mm -hmm. But locking in the artist for years at a time, no, nah, I'll never do that again. It's, that's just like having a kid. Can I ask you with the, um, the artists that you got now? You know, I feel like you got the trifecta. I know you got the EBK kid, but like when I, and the Lil Loaded too. Yeah. Which we could touch on that a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not the biggest Lil Loaded like fan. I'm not a hater, but I'm like, yeah. ain't nothing really just grabbed me yet with bro. Yeah. But I see the success. Mm -hmm. But between the, those two, Cash Page, Baby Young, and, and um, Big K Beezy. Dirty Deep Grimy. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I was just thinking of the Texas. Oh, 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 oh but, okay, okay. Bro, too, you know, with yeah. all these artists, like, what is it that makes, what, what is it that makes Sean press the button and be like, you know, I'm fucking with that? 
I mean, is this real? Like, or is this sometimes you see a, a video and then you see, I go by uh, potential. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really, you don't gotta have the biggest numbers. Um, F&B Long, when he came out, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just bet on some people. Some people, some people keep it going. Some people don't know how to keep it going. Yeah. A lot of some artists you give a bag to, they just don't know what to do. They lose their mind. They go crazy. They start doing drugs. So it's just like sometimes you never know. Like you never know who's gonna blow or not. I don't care what the best A and R in the world says. I've I just seen QC sign artists that we've never heard from again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Def Jam and P Diddy. A lot of artists, they had that one moment, then it's over. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's going to go undefeated in this shit. Like, and I feel like that's what makes it so fun. Like, mm -hmm. it makes it so fun to really, like, bet on yourself and see if they really blow up, you know? One thing people, a lot, a lot of people know is I shoot a lot of music videos, too, and a lot of them happen to be pretty rah-rah street, you know, guns and shit. All the niggas notice and say cheese doesn't post music videos yeah, with guns no more. Yeah, that's just because of Instagram. Like, Instagram. Um, shit gets flagged. Yeah, the shit gets flagged when you wear bandanas now. They're starting to say organization. And, Seriously? Yeah, stuff like that. So, it's like, I like the guns and shit every now and then, but... Yeah. Some of these guys, they, they don't know what to do without a gun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like... Nah, I feel you. And I remember I tweeted you. See, I, you, you get so much traffic on Twitter, you probably don't even remember this shit. But you said something about that shit one time. You're like, yo, I'm over the guns in the videos. I want to you know, catch my attention in a different way. But then I was like... Bro, half the artists that you fuck with, yeah. them niggas be having guns and they Yeah, nah, videos. that's that's true too. And that's uh, what probably caught your attention. It does. Yeah, no, nah, that's true too. Like EBK saw, and I tell these guys all the time, like EBK saw rack, like they'll send me videos to post, and I'm like, dude, you got a gun in your video, you got a big ass Draco. Like, <laughs> I can't post that. I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. Like, I tell these dudes, these dudes are gonna do what they want to do. Yeah. But I preached. I don't. I don't like the video shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I feel that. I mean, I don't like the gun shit. You already know who it is, man. We on Spray Springer Live, man. One of the greatest to ever do this shit in the DFW, man. You already know what's going on. Hey, man. That's that nigga, man. 